Disney Princess Cinderella, Chore de Force. Cinderella watched as a blue and pink tinted bubble floated up from her bucket. Isn't that pretty? She said. Gus, Jack, and the rest of Cinderella's mouse friends nodded in agreement. I bet it would be fun to float around in a bubble all day. I could see whole cities at a time, bounce on clouds, and soar with the birds. Cinderella said dreamily. Suddenly, Cinderella laughed. What am I doing? She said. I should stay focused on my chores. Cinderella finished cleaning the windows and prepared to mop the floor. She plunged the mop into a bucket of soapy water, then dragged it across the floor. As the mop slid across the slippery floor, she suddenly realized, This is like dancing. How I love to dance. Gus and Jack copied Cinderella as she twirled around the room with the mop. What fun, she cried happily. Then Cinderella caught herself. Oh my, did I say that out loud? Maybe I just need to get away from all these bubbles, she thought. Ironing should do the trick. She was ironing rain and humming merrily to herself when she realized how dark the sky had grown. Look at the sign, Cinderella exclaimed. I've been daydreaming the day away and haven't even started dinner. Cinderella hurried to the kitchen where she chopped them in, then grated and stirred. I don't know where this day has gone, she fretted as she added ingredients to her stepsister's favorite soup. I've got absolutely nothing done. Cinderella's stepsister's Anastasia and Drizella barged into the kitchen. Where's my laundry, barked Anastasia. Done, Cinderella said. Am I ironing? Drizella added. Done. <laughs> Cinderella replied again. Did you mop the floors, wash the windows, make our dinner? Done, done, done. Cinderella said gaily. The sisters marched out of the kitchen, muttering with displeasure. And there Cinderella stood all alone in the kitchen once more. As she stirred the pot of soup, she thought, I guess I did, a good, I guess I did get a lot done after all. <laughs> the end.